what are your feelings as you're about ready to join Brainerd City Council? Um, excited. Uh, I'd, I'd be lying if I didn't say I was, wasn't nervous. I'm a little bit, you know, I, I think I'd be more worried if I weren't nervous. It's a lot of responsibility and there's a lot of work and, and I take that very seriously. So, you know, I, I think the one thing that's always important to express is a lot of the issues run deeper than it appears. I mean, when you read about it in a the paper, there's only so many words that the reporter can put in there. And a lot of the things aren't as cut and dried as, as some people think they are. Going in, are there any issues or any committees that are really standing out that you want to focus on um, in your in your term? You know, I, I'd, I'd like to be on the Public Works Committee. Um, I'm going to be looking at, you know, a lot of the issues that I had in my election literature. I am making sure that we do get a stoplight at Willow Street and those street improvements go through. <clears throat> Being in City Council, not every vote I make is going to be, you know, what everybody in Ward 1 wants and and you know as a teacher I accept that every decision I make is going you know not going to make everybody happy but I'll be definitely willing to talk to people about my decisions so hopefully you know the op my openness my accessibility what you know in particular are you looking forward to bringing to council I think probably the biggest thing that I'm looking forward to bringing uh, has to do with just um, so a fresh perspective, a, a different way of looking at, at the city, which I think is good. I'm going to be spending a fair amount of time having what I'm going to be <clears throat> calling community conversations, where once a month we have a get-together of anyone who's interested to show up and have discussions about how to make Brainerd a better city, and it comes down to this community conversation about where's our priorities and where's our, what do we hope and dream this city can be and then work towards making it. That. If everybody comes together and puts their energies towards that, we can eventually get there. Any things that you've seen council do really well that you really kind of want to make sure um, sticks around while you're while you're serving with some of these councilmen. One of the things I think they've done really well is the financial condition of the city appears to be in pretty good shape. Mm -hmm. um, my business background I think is going to help a lot and particularly the business that I've been in which is uh, marketing and promotions and communication. I'm excited though because I think that this is um, Speaking of democracy, this is the grassroots level of, uh, of democracy. This is kind of where it all starts, where the people's voice um, needs to be heard. How are you feeling? It's, it's coming up here. You're going to be officially part of uh, Brainerd City Council. What are your thoughts going into it? My thoughts are very exciting. Um, I can't wait till the day I get you know, sworn in on January 7th. I think that's the date. And get, um, you know, roll up the sleeves and get ready to go. We got a great new council coming together with uh, Dave and Chip and I as the new members and the existing councils that are looking forward to us. And one of the issues I do see right now is we do need a city administrator. Uh, you know, you take a city that's been had a leader like Dan Bolt for many, many, many years, and then you remove that leader, and I, I see the city being a little bit lost without a leader. Um, the city administrator is like a good quarterback, as everybody just knows what happened with the Vikings. Um, if you got a good, um, you know, leader in the city or a good city administrator, you know, that will, will, you know, bounce our city forward. Why did the citizens of Brainerd make the right choice in electing you? Um, the, basically, uh, it's the energy I have, you know, the energy I bring, and the commitment and the passion I have. You, know. you with uh, Chip and, and Dave coming in, how do you think that's going to really kind of change the dynamic, if at all, of the way the council currently is being run right now? Um, yeah, first of all, new is always kind of, it's a breath of fresh air, and I feel that. Um, Chip has got some great ideas in a whole different direction than, you know, the current council, and so does Dave, and so do I. And if we can bring that together, which it looks like we can, uh, it's going to just, you know, add add some feel where some feel should be needed to accelerate this, um, you know, basically the city in that different direction. Mm -hmm. Our job is to lift and carry and move the city forward, and you can't do that mashing.